Hey everyone, this is the, the Empty Nester. Today, um, I'm gonna do something really different. I normally don't share a lot about, you know, my personal life on here, and, um, I thought I could do this video, but I keep putting it off. And Rosie or Ruthie over at Popo's Backyard Farms did a um, advice tag, and I thought maybe I would, you know, go ahead and share what's going on with you, just in case something that I have to say may help you in the future. The last few weeks have been a lot of um, drama and trauma and grief and you know this you know kept me from actually participating fully in the YouTube channels you know getting back to you on comments ASAP or visiting your channel and commenting on your videos but um, you know, I've learned over this lifetime that there's, you shouldn't put any value into material things, such as, um, you know, if something happens to your home and your belongings, they're replaceable. It may not be the same thing you had before, but there's always going to be something else, something new. And there is somehow, some ways, something good that will always come out of something bad. It'll just take a long time for you to figure out what the good was. And I've prepared myself mentally for um, any loss, uh, you know, of anything of value. Or actually, I don't put value on anything other than people. Because people are the only thing that matter in this lifetime. You come into this lifetime with a family, and you go out with, if you're lucky, a family and friends. And, um, you know, I was really doing really well at, you know, keeping depression and that away. And um, whenever you deal with grief, it brings in, um, Oh, I guess a depression and sadness and doom and gloom and things like that. But um, oh, let me just go ahead and say it. Um, a couple weeks ago, my daughter had a miscarriage, and then a couple days later, we lost Willow, the um, mama chicken, and. Then last week, um, my niece's boyfriend put up a picture of her where there's nothing. She looked dead, basically, and um, you know, skin and bones from. Um, she was dealing with lung cancer, and in August they said that she was in remission, but she ended up with a fungal infection somehow that took over her life, and now she's on a feeding tube. And she's sitting at home, or laying at home in a hospital bed on a feeding tube, and her house is in foreclosure. The, somehow the bank, um, you know, at the courthouse stops, the court wouldn't allow it to be sold. So they may be keeping her house out of the foreclosure market. I don't know all the details right now. But, um... People have cut down her boyfriend for um, not having an income. He basically had an aneurysm and he's waiting for disability too. They put a spring in his brain. Somehow, if a bubble goes up, the spring is supposed to try to pop the bubble to keep him from dying. But that man um, takes care of her. He, um, you know, is always there changing her feeding tube or adding food to her tube and doing whatever she needs. So um, that man has 100% respect in my book. 
and um, her kids are a little bit different story, but it's not my place to judge them and how they behave. And all I did was went to St. Louis and saw how I could help, and it wasn't enough, you know, that I could do for her, but I'm too far away, and what I've decided was to let all my chickens go, and then I've got homes for them all. It's just that for Parker, with the wiry neck syndrome, I can't go ahead and part with her, and then I'm keeping one that looks like Yoki, but everyone else, you know, is going to a new home. But, um, I had this all planned out in my head, what I was going to say, and how I was going to say it, but when it actually comes down to saying it, it's a different story. But the more you love, the more harder it is to um, deal. And you think you're prepared, but when it actually happens, it's not the, the um, same. And I went ahead and shared my daughter's wedding. She went ahead and got married, and we called it, a, um, as a theme, a um, shotgun wedding. And then um, I had to, some of you were able to see it, and I it got copyright violations on the music, so um, I failed to um, edit out the music. I just uploaded it for everyone to see as it was. And then someone had an issue with something, a piece of material that was in the background that had nothing to do with me. And um, I'm so saddened by people controlling people, judging people, and thinking that everybody thinks the same. Not everybody puts value into things that they do. And it means nothing. A piece of material is a piece of material unless you decide to give it value. A house is just a house unless you decide that you can't live without the house and give it value. A car is just a car unless you decide, you know, it means everything in the world to you. We have to learn that um, everything is replaceable except for people. What means something to you doesn't mean anything to me, or vice versa. Um, I don't judge people for the way they live or what they wear or who they are, other than if they're very mean, hateful people, and it's their right to be mean and hateful if they want to be mean and hateful. There's something in their past or their personality, you know, like narcissist narcissist behavior that makes them mean and hateful and keeps people away from them. But I found, you know, from knowing some people that are that way, there is a little bit of um, love in them, but not much. <laughs> you know, and um, they deserve a friendship if they're willing to work with being kind to people. But if they're not, you know, don't waste your time on them because all they're going to do is hurt you over and over and over. I know this is going from one subject to another subject to another subject, but um, with grief, you know, there's many people that I miss, including myself. You know, I miss being able to fully communicate with people. I miss being able to fully use all my body parts. I miss, you know, being able to just go out and do what I want when I want without having to worry about if I'm going to be able to stand long enough, if I'm going to be able to lift it, if I'm going to be able to make it there in one piece, you know. So this is chaos and confusion and oh, lots of crap. It's, you know, that's not a cuss word, it's just how life gets to the point sometimes, and I'm going to be okay. I just need a bit of time, and I'm going to continue making my videos because they're gonna bring me out of this, you know, more gardening, you know, working in the soil, 
planting and friendship, you know, will bring us all through. But I'm going to let you go for now, and thanks if you've watched all of this, and y'all have a great day. See ya.